to episode number two. Um, I'm 17 weeks out as of yesterday, so we're one week into my prep. If you guys have been following the series, you know that. <laughs> um, so I did my weigh-ins yesterday with After Nutrition, and I weighed in at 148.4. So I am down 1.2 pounds, which is the goal. Um, and for my measurements, my chest and my around my belly button did go down just a little bit, and everything else stayed the same. So that's pretty much what I predicted, um, as we're looking for slow and steady changes. Um, my macros did decrease just ever so slightly. So um, I was at, for last week, I was at 2,727 calories, uh, 307 carb, 91 fat, and 169 protein. And then once I did my weigh-in, it they decreased just like very, 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 very small amounts. Um, but now they're 2,710 calories, 307 carbs, 90 fat, and 168 protein. So we're just down like 20 some odd calories, um, a gram of fat, and a gram of protein. So not a very big change, but... And then uh, for my cardio this week, I did one hit session. So I did 10 minutes of treadmill sprints, and I did one minute on, one minute off at a pretty high speed. And they were hard. <laughs> I haven't done intense cardio in a while, so that's going to be a, a challenging add into the program. But basically a summary of the first week, it went really well. I had uh, all my workouts. I did my one cardio session, my one posing session, and hitting my macros was pretty easy. Um, I'm really loving the flexibility that I'm taking with this approach, this prep. So. Last prep, I basically, every Sunday, I meal prepped and for the whole week, and that was what I ate, and that's it. Um, and I find it was actually a lot harder to stick to, because, you know, if you don't really feel like eating something, you don't want to eat it, and then you end up going off your meal plan, and not hitting your macros and your calories, and whatever the case may be. So this time, I wake up and I eat whatever I want for breakfast, and then I plan out the rest of that day. So I know I'm going to hit my macros and my calories for that day, but I get to change up what I'm eating every single day of the week, which makes it a little bit easy, because if I'm really craving something, I can be, okay, Becca, you can have it in 24 hours, like, you can wait, and then I fit it into the next day. Um, now, mind you, because my calories are still pretty high, I don't really find that I'm having any cravings yet, but I'm sure as we get lower with our numbers and further into prep, that's going to change. Um, yeah, so energy levels are still high, my strength's still there, and again, that's to be predicted, I'm one week in. Um, that shouldn't happen for quite a few more weeks, so <laughs> um, if you find like you're really struggling in the first week, you might have had too big of a drop, but something to think about. Um, what else? I think that might be it, guys. So, uh, prep episode two, sweet and short, um, you saw my workout edit, so that was my chest and shoulder day, and then after this, guys, I'm going to show you my... 17 week out physique update. So again, it's not a lot of changes from the last physique update you guys have seen, but I'm going to keep putting them in every week. That way we can see the subtle changes each week. Um, and plus it's going to be really fun to compare uh, 18 weeks out to, you know, show day. So stay tuned guys and that's coming up.